When you sign up to study with the Sensory Project, you'll be given access to a series of short films and you'll be provided with a workbook. And I said in the first film on this playlist that the Sensory Project's training is all about getting you asking questions. That workbook is just more of that. There are more questions, there are more suggestions for ways of thinking about things within that. Um, some people have felt like they were supposed to you know, fill in the whole workbook like it was a test. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's not meant to be a test. It's just more tools for reflective practice. You don't have to look at it at all if you don't want to. One lady who's done one of the courses on the sensory projects listens to a video every morning when she walks her dog. And she says, it takes me about 40 minutes to walk my dog. And the first 10 minutes is listening to the film. And I mentioned that most of the films are just talking heads, so occasionally we might show you something or I might, I was going to say mime, I don't mean mime, I mean like do a gesture, but you should be able to access the content purely through listening if that works best for you. There's no need to see my face, there's no need for anybody to see my face. So you could listen to it, she said I listen to you for the first 10 minutes of my dog walk and then I just think about what you said for the rest of it and that is perfect because that will you know those thoughts and ideas will go through her head and she'll turn them over and she'll relate them to the situation that she's in and to the people that she knows and the ideas that she'll have by the end of her dog walk won't be ideas I've given her they'll be ideas that thinking process has conjured up and they will have the best chance of being the right ideas for her. So as you prepare to study, think about what works best for you. If you want to sit down somewhere formal and watch the film and print out the workbooklet and fill it in like it is a sort of test and that's what's best for you, then do that. But if it's better for you to just listen to me whilst you do the dishes or to have the film on, um, you know, when you first wake up in the morning and you're drinking your cup of coffee in bed, then do it that way. It's very, very flexible. And you will see in the little clip about assessment that you don't have to fill in the book to take part in the assessment.